This time, you're in control. We're putting you at the center of the experience. Welcome to Xbox 360. Magical products are the synthesis of really diverse sets of people that share a singular vision. We put together a team of hundreds of people bringing living entertainment to life through a blend of technology and art and community. Every major publisher that has any level of impact on our industry is fully committed to Xbox 360. All of this will come together to create a truly next generational experience that's going to blow people away. We have truly expanded the entertainment universe with Xbox 360. Xbox 360 Guide, it is your launch pad to all of your digital entertainment. It's a place you go to connect mobile devices or connect to your PC, your digital cameras, your MP3 players, your digital audio players. Xbox 360 is the connected generation of console. You want to go in for a gaming experience with friends in real time where you're sharing the vibrant stories that these game developers are creating? In the box is the key that lets you do that. Xbox Live, every single game is Xbox Live Aware. High definition, every single game is in high def. We'll actually have custom faceplates that you can buy, just like your cell phone, that you snap on the front of that console and you change the entire look of the console to be your own. And if you want to extend that personalization into the software, you'll be able to go to the Xbox Live Marketplace right there in the Xbox 360 guide and download new themes and skins to make the software look like your personalized hardware. It's really going to revolutionize how we think about shopping, downloading, trying, buying, and playing new downloadable content. I think in the past, Video games have been a more relaxed sit back and play. We're now growing up as gamers and we're evolving to the next wave. When we look at what we mean by HD, we mean the entire immersive experience that high definition will bring to this generation of games. True crisp visuals that flow and look cinematic. Where you see feathers on birds and you see blades of grass. Bullets flying around your head, soccer balls whizzing across the screen. Individual leaves blowing in trees. I think about not only visual, but audio. And you're whipping your head around because you heard something come from behind you. I think about the ability to bring games to life even on televisions that don't have high definition capability. The big shift as we move into the HD era of games with Xbox 360 is that the community themselves are going to be able to leave more of a lasting impression. Now, we're going to let the gamers control the paintbrushes. They're going to be able to control the environments in new ways. They'll be able to customize their cars. They'll be able to design their own racetracks. They'll be able to paint their own skateboards and design their own skate parks. When we thought about sculpting 360, we thought about it very different than Xbox One. We wanted it to have an iconic shape. The basic gesture of the new console is a uh, double concavity. It's derived from the idea of an inhale or of uh, a spring that's fully coiled. The iconic gesture is suggestive of a, a very deep soul within the system. And like sculpture, we took away and we took away and we took away until we got to the essence of the product. Welcome to the new generation of gaming. This is the Xbox 360 game console. First feature I want to point out about this game console is it can go both vertical or horizontal. Uh, working from bottom to top, we've got two standard USB ports with a door that hinges inward. Moving upward, we have the power button surrounded by the ring of light. And the ring is how the wireless controllers work in conjunction with the console. It tells you which wireless port you're assigned to. Moving upward, you have the connect button, and that associates a wireless controller with the wireless console. Uh, there are two memory units, memory unit A, memory unit B. They both have doors that hinge inward. There's uh, an IR window for your remote control. Moving to the DVD and eject button, we have the Xbox 360 brand, proudly brandished on the DVD tray. Moving to the top or the left-hand side, we've got the hard drive. Uh, and this uses the same uh, chrome fit and finish as the DVD drive and as the hard drive badge. The controller for Xbox 360 has some uh, features that are familiar to our users, some features that are sort of new. Between the cross section, uh, we have start and back buttons. They've been relocated to the center. 
they flank the Xbox 360 button. Anytime you press that button, you go to the UI. And that is represented by our logo in the next generation. The D-pad, we've reshaped the two-dimensional outline to work better with our aesthetic while keeping the basic contours virtually identical. So we feel like overall we've made all the buttons a little more accessible and a little more comfortable for our users. I love making shapes. I love making shapes that have intelligence built into them. Welcome to New Generation of Gaming, Xbox 360. You know, I don't know where Xbox 360 is going, right? I mean, I've kind of done my part by finishing this product up and unleashing on the world. I'm looking forward to what the world's going to do with it. Europe is an incredible hotbed of development talent and will be a very important part of our launch portfolio. In particular, two developers we're very, very excited about. Rare out of the UK will be bringing both Perfect Dark Zero and Cameo to the Xbox 360. And Bizarre Creations from Liverpool will, of course, be bringing the third iteration of the very successful franchise, Project Gotham Racing, to the Xbox 360 as part of the launch portfolio. Xbox 360, it's always on, it's always connected, it's always personalized, and it's always in high def. You're in control. <laughs>